It doesn't matter if Le Pen wins or not, her support base is here to stay. Liberals tend to obsess about individual election outcomes. Across Europe, many recently celebrated when the Dutch populist Gert Wilders failed to win his national election. And now many are hoping that Marine Le Pen will also fail to cross the finishing line in France. But individual election results will not change the fact that populism is here to stay. In the 1980s, long before the Great Recession, a new cultural divide opened up in Europe and has pushed populism to the forefront. Voters started to question their traditional allegiances and started to line up with parties based more on their values than their economic preferences. This has meant that the bond between workers and the social democratic left has eroded. The left has consistently failed to address these new cultural and value-based issues like immigration, national identity and perceived threats to the nation. As the centre-left collapsed, the populists flourished. New space opened up for the Le Pens of the world. Marine Le Pen's father appealed first to the middle class and then more directly to the working class. It was in the 1990s, not today, when the French National Front became the most working class party in French politics. Le Pen Sr. shocked the world when he took 18% of the national vote and reached the second round in 2002. But his daughter is almost certain to eclipse that level of support. Most polls put her on at least 23% of the vote in round one and at least 30% of the vote in round two. Her strongest support comes from the under 40s, women as well as men. This is not a movement of the angry old white man. We should not dismiss the significance of her appeal. Whether she wins or loses, the populist right is here to stay, and the Le Pen dynasty will remain a force for many years to come.